Okay, so this is the third one in the linear regression series, and this time again we've got the speed and distance to stop for 50 cars. So this is the speed the car was going, this is how long it took to stop. These were in miles per hour, these were in feet. So commonly you'll ask to first of all write down what the assumptions of linear regression are, and for each assumption do you think it's reasonable. So, first of all, what are the assumptions? Well, we need linearity, we need constant variance, we need normality, we need in. Okay, the first three are what we call model assumptions. That means we can do some sort of plot to check these. The last one is a design assumption. The only way we can check this is by looking at the information we're given in the question. Okay, so how are we going to do this? First of all, let's start with linearity. So, how do we check that? So remember, we always say what the assumption is, where we check it, what we expect, what do we see, and what do we conclude. So with linearity, we're going to look at the residual versus fitted plot. Okay, so how do we do that? Go to MATLAB. So, I have my data in MATLAB already. I have distance and speeds. So I hit reg stat. Put y first, in this case it's the distance, and then we put r, which is our response variable, and then we put our predictive variable, in this case, which is the speeds. Hit that, and we get the dialog box. So we want our coefficients, we want the fitted values. Now, here's residuals. Remember, in the lecture, I said that we prefer the studentized residuals. We'll get the mean square error. We'll get RT statistics. That should be everything we need. I'm going to click OK. What we see is we've got a load of stuff done here. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a scatter. And we need R on the X. We want R. So it's residuals versus fitted. So our x is the y hat, and our fitted will be our residuals is the stud res. So there's our plot. I should put an x label. X label is fitted. quotes and a Y label is residuals. So there's our plot. So first of all linearity. So what we look at this we basically say do we have random scatter? So so back here. So if linearity Reasonable. We expect to see random scatter. Well, generally it looks okay, but there is a possibility of something going on here. If you look as you go from left to right, all these points, you saw you have a big gap of no points here, and then you have some points over here. So you could almost imagine that maybe there's some curvature going on. Hard to tell, but at this point I say there's a potentially some curvature. That is these extra points over on the right hand side, but we'll assume it's valid. So, so there may be some curvature, but assume reasonable.
Okay, the next one. Constant variance. So, where do we check? Well, we just look again at the residual versus scripted. If constant variance is reasonable, expect to see constant squared pass go from left to right. So what we expect as if as we go from left to right, we roughly want to see these points equally spread around the line y equals zero. This may be a problem. Look here, you've got these points are all quite tight around zero, you know. The variance here is represented by these two. So the min to the max is this distance here, which is about two inches. Or we get over here, and now our distance is about three or four inches just from this particular one. So I think we might have some heteroskewed acids as you go from left to right. So there might be a problem there. So let's put that. Some heteroskewed acidity. Let's go from left to right. more spread. So may not be reasonable, but we'll assume for remainder of remainder of question. Okay. Now normality. So how do we check normality? This time we look at normal probability of our residuals. So let's produce that. It's norm plot. We need to give it the residuals, which is the student race, student residuals. So here we are. So remember, if you answer this question for your assignment, you will have to include all the plots to justify, to show that you got the right plot. And also it's a good idea when you put them into your report that you give them a name like figure one and figure two. So when you refer to them, you know you're referring to exactly the right one. So look at these points. What do we expect? We expect to see roughly linear. Well, it's hard to tell. I mean, there's only a few points but it does deviate quite a bit here from the red line. And you could imagine there is some curvature here, but we can have a lot of wiggliness around the line and still be normal. Um, if, you know, as you go further in your stats career, you wanted to test that, what you can do is you can give yourself a standard. And what I mean by standard is you can count how many points you've got there, and then you can actually simulate that number of points from a normal distribution and have a look at that QQ plot and do that a few times to see how much you can expect the variation to be in that number of plots. But that's just an aside. At this point, it looks like there might be some deviation away, so we'll put that in our report. So, um, if the residuals are normal, we expect the points to be roughly linear. Do we see? There may be some curvature present and it is very wiggly. And there are only, oh, well, actually, there's quite a few points there, 50. So I think we might conclude that this assumption may not. be 
visible. Let's breathe. Shame if it is all red. Need a follow up with questions. And finally, How do I check that? <coughs> Look at the very nicely designed. I think it's all the fat there. Plus our aluminium connector. So not really been given much information. There's no indication, you know, whether they were in a particular order. Um, there's no information whether they should be independent. There's no indication they might be expected. So I think in this case we can just say not enough information given in the question. We will assume this assumption. for remainder of question. And that's it. Again, as I said, each assumption, I name the assumption, I say where I look, what I expect to see, what I saw, what I conclude. This nice dot format really helps it for the marker to mark and therefore easier for us to ensure you get the marks you deserve. Excellent. That's it. Bye.